Beautiful first day of 2019. We're down at the garage, starting as we mean to go on. Um, hope you all had a good New Year's Eve. But yeah, I hope you all make the most of this year. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try and push on with the cars, push on with the YouTube, try and upload con like consistent content and make it good content. And hopefully by this time next year, we'll still be doing it. But today, unfortunately, the, um, I might have mentioned this in a previous video, I can't remember, but the Audi's rear brakes, this is the daily bus, by the way. It's just a 1.9 TDI B5 A4 in reflex silver. But the, the rear discs are hammered. The pads don't look bad, but then I can't see the back one, so I'm assuming the back one's totally gone. But the handbrake sticks on. Not the handbrake, the actual brake sticks on, so I think the caliper might be gone. But it, for now, I'm just gonna, I bought some pads the other day. I couldn't find any discs with it being so close to New Year's, I assume. So I'm literally just gonna try and wind the caliper out, put the pads in. You shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna, cause it, fuck it, it's a daily, it's cheap. Um, put the pads in and when I get some discs I'll shot those in so yeah let's well, well I've got some more there's there's more coming after that when once we've messed about with the Audi I've got got some stuff to be doing on the Corvair I'm gonna go more into those plans after this so we'll see how bad the pads are on the on the Audi it should be funny all right, let's see the damage. Let's see, all right, we've got the front one. Some life on that leg. Back one. Woo! Yeah, that makes sense. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh well. Put some fresh pads in and see what happens. Done. Hello. He's gorgeous. <laughs> right, so the Corvair, I've made an executive decision to take the engine out because above in the engine compartment, well, it's kind of it's like the transmission tunnel, but it doesn't have a tunnel because the engine's in the back. Above that is all quite, it's like starting to sweat and get like rust, a bit rusty. So I'm gonna drop the engine out. It all needs blasting anyway. It's all filthy and under there. So I'll drop it out, clean everything up, fully undersail the car, probably refresh a few bits on the engine and then shot it back in and be done with it. So today we'll just start on uh, we might get it out today but I'm not promising anything so we'll see what happens but oh, oh. Oh, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> there it is what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> oh. Right, so the all the wires are off now. Um, 
got speedo cable, uh, starter wires, that's the fuel line. Um, need to take the brake lines off and then it's just a matter of that one. One in, one in there and one right under there. And then the full subframe engine and some uh, transmission will just drop out. Diving everything off the engine now so I can drop it out. Um, the main thing is this is the accelerator cable. I don't know where that goes. But I need to take that off. And the gear selector for the gear box. And then I can drop the mounts. And then I'll put the I'll put these underneath the engine and the trans. Drop the car with on the lift onto them. Undo the bolts. And then pick the car up with the lift. And I'll be left with the drivetrain on the pallets, hopefully. Right, bud. One of them, bud. Straight, bud. And gravy, bud. Bit of gravy, bud. Right, so everything's unhooked. We've got everything off the engine now, so... Just got to take the, lower the car down, line it up with the tyres. Put one under the transmission and one under the engine. Um, lower it down, drop the subframe, drop the engine mount at the back on the tyres and then just pick the car up and that's it. Engine's out. It's absolutely massive. At least I got the subframe out at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna clean all that shit. It's massive that in it. It's like a fucking truck starter motor. Yeah, Sam. So yeah, the plan now is to uh, clean all the top of the subframe, all the top of the engine up, get all of the dirt and grime out there, like 60 years of dirt and shit. And then um, if you look up there, you can probably see it's all a bit on the crusty side, so there's preventative maintenance, I'm just going to underseal the lot. Knock it all back, underseal it all. Do the full floor, I can do under the front subframe as well now, I've got that off. Um, yeah, and just, it'll be easier to, to fabricate, because this needs modifying for the bags to fit. 
So I need to basically cut this a bit higher and then plate it and then cut this off for access to the top of the bag for the airline fitting. So this will be a lot easier to do with that off the car. Um, and yeah, apart from that, it'll just be doing be easier to service the, the car properly while it's out the while it's out the engine bay. So I'm not sure. Hopefully, I won't have any issues when it comes to putting it on the road. So we're on with taking the subframe off the engine. Melon's here in his uh, lovely hoodie. Repping, brother. Repping. <clears throat> Got the drive shafts off, they're literally the easiest drive shafts ever. In the country for the rage. To take off. We were saying these these compared to uh, E36 drive shafts are an Ridiculous. absolute walk. So take the subframe off and then clean all that up. <laughs> Is it four or two bolts? It's four, four. in it. That's like a part of the ducting system, that. Like, it's meant to have a massive undertray underneath the engine, it just doesn't have it. Really? Yeah. Oh, to help with the uh, with, uh, airflow? Airflow, it, with it being air-cooled. Yeah. Wonder why it doesn't have it. What's that under there? Have you ever, oh, it's all the cables for the... Oh, it's the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the blower motor. Which actually works, All right. but none of the none of the ducting's hooked up, so it doesn't work. All it does is blow cold air at your feet. <laughs> twat, twat it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not spin the shaft? I've got it, don't I? Oh, you've got it now, yeah. Uh, Tire. Metal. Ah, uh, yeah. That'll do it. Look at all this, like, it's dry dirt. It looks like it's been up eight and quarry. Actually does. Oh, that that's bone dry. If this was a UK car, that would be rot. Yeah, like discos. Yeah, it, this would look like a discovery. Doesn't know, does it, bud? No, because it's from the wonderful land of California. California, yeah. California. Are you still filming? Even is that? Is that literally just dirt? Dirt, yeah. Look, we're revealing bolts and everything. That's mad. 
All this will be like that as well. Look at that, that's actually really satisfying. Isn't it? There's metal there somewhere. And then all this here. What's this? That. Is that a blade? No. It doesn't look like it. Why would you need to blade that? It's the box. Unless it's the filler. This is going to make an absolute mess, this, you know. Hurry on. Sixty. What is it? This is a nineteen sixty-two car. So what? Year? What? How many years old is that? I haven't even worked it out in my life. Fifty something. It's like nearly nearly sixty years worth of shit. And however many miles. Fifty-seven. The clocks say. I think the clocks are actually say about 50 some 50 something thousand but that's definitely been round the clock has to have been at least like twice yeah. it's really satisfying that you know it looks it do you want to go hold my roller bear look at this roller bearings i'm gonna have to rebuild that that now because they've all moved Uh, yep. Cheers for the pry bar, Andy. Nice one, bud. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I did a much neater job of that than you. You did, like. I am doing it with one hand. <laughs> Melon has two GTIs. One's a Polo and one's a Golf. And they're both shit. And uh, they're both Reflex Silver. So he's got like a, a big and a little version. Every time I see him, I get my dick out. Yeah, every time. I'm using all of this. Do you know how much that was? How much? Seven quid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Seven whole pounds that was. Yep, done. Yeah, I think that I think that'll do it. Like, <laughs> well, we've cleaned like we've took about a ton, probably roughly a ton of shit out of here. No, it's um, we were on half ton here. Yeah. No, we were on ton and a half, and now we've gone down to a ton just just of because we've here. cleaned loads of shit off yeah. the engine. But it's actually coming up pretty good, surprisingly. Mm. Doesn't look like the inside of a goat's ass anymore, does it? <laughs> That's the main thing. That's the took the gearbox mount off and that was absolutely black. Black so rotten. That's that's just soaking in the ambience a bit at the minute. And then uh still gotta do with that side. Can't see because of the There we go. That's with about half of what was on it chipped off. So on these engines, they've got like a shroud all the way over the top of the engine. And in there, I don't know if you can see, there is all sorts of things. And I've just pulled out this. A little Father Christmas. Can't, I think. Say, can't say Father anymore for people that don't have dads. Oh yeah, sorry. But I think it's glow in the dark. There's a, it needs like a dark corner. Oh, is it? Nah, it's not. Chuck it in there. Glow in the dark, that bud. Yeah, it's glowing, that, innit? <laughs> Proper glowing. Hi, my name's James Melling. I got Benjamin Walker's trinket from uh, John Ludwig here. As you can see, we're working on the Corvair. 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty sick to be honest with you. Ain't dead yet, repping. Yo, and uh, yeah, we got no engine. Right, so productive day on the Corvair. We've got the engine out. Um, started cleaning it down, getting all of the shit out from around the engine. It was just covered in shit. Um, so, yeah, big, big milestone getting the engine out and it wasn't that, that hard at all. There was literally about three wires um, running the engine. So, apart from that, it was just... Um, the gearbox selector cables and the throttle cable and stuff like that was probably the hardest part to get off. So, yeah, no issues. Um, we'll come back again tomorrow and keep cleaning and um, hopefully have it back in soon because I don't want it sat about for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so thanks for, uh, I've had some good comments and stuff on from people in the comments, so um, I appreciate it. Um. <laughs> ah, okay. So yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you probably tomorrow.